Hey gang, do you know what I like to do when I want to show off a dream card that I recently received in the mail while making a response video for the one and only John Mangini of the Mangini Collection, while also wearing my daughter's, two-year-old daughter's little pink glove because I can't find my gloves anywhere? I like to look at some baseball cards. That is right. This is a response video for the one and only John Mangini. You all know who he is. If you don't, you can Google search single greatest baseball card collection on the planet, and there you'll find John Mangini. Um, you know, the thing that's so cool about him is you can tell he is genuinely a collector who loves the hobby, who's been doing it his whole life. He's not one of these guys that, you know, now that collecting is popular again and people are using it as investments, you know, you got these guys going out and, you know, making millions with tech companies or whatever in Vegas and they're going out and they're buying up all the expensive, you know, sports cards and, you know, bragging about it and, you know, making it like a big rich lifestyle thing. Man, Genie doesn't do that, man. He is... He's just such a cool guy. He supports little jack leg channels like mine and so many others. Um, but this is a video response for him. 900 subs. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Certainly well earned. So let me get to the card. And really, this is a... I'm only going to show a couple things. So one of uh, Mr. Mangini's uh, requests is that you wear the glove. Um, so I'm doing that now. Again, this is the only one I can find. Since this is a... A peewee glove. I figured I would show a peewee Reese. This, of course, is the 1953 Bowman Color peewee Reese PSA 2. Um, I have wanted this card forever. I hate that mirror image there. Hey, there's me uh, and the W flag. But um, anyway, here's peewee. Uh, you know, it's got a crease there and it's got a crease up there, but it's really not, it does not detract from the eye appeal of this card at all. I've waited forever for this card to find exactly the right one. And to me, this was it. Um, this is, it's beautiful on the front. It's beautiful on the back. Uh, big shout out to, to Alex Bowman 53, who's got like 17, 18 of these. I don't know, but uh, he gets them in all conditions and just cherishes them all. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of guys have this card. And I now can say that I do too. It's such a, a beautiful card. One of the greatest looking cards of all time. Um, and, you know, let's uh, let's not understate Pee Wee Reese the ball player and Pee Wee Reese the man. Um, you know, he was a 10-time All-Star, two-time World Series champ. Just an amazing player, but probably more importantly and more significantly, um, the way he befriended Jackie Robinson, um, you know, really sort of helped, I guess. I mean, not I'm not trying to underplay, you know, Jackie at all. And, and you know, Jackie certainly was tortured and tormented. But, um, you know, Pee Wee Reese did a lot to try to help the transition. Um, you know, a lot of the players didn't want Jackie called up. They had a petition going around. Pee Wee Reese refused to sign it. Um, you know, there was a lot of controversy about Jackie coming up and maybe taking Pee Wee Reese's position, you know, to which Pee Wee Reese said something to the effect of, you know, if, if he can take my job, he's entitled to it. Um, you know, and then there was, uh, you know, kind of a legendary story where uh, Jackie was being harassed particularly bad one day. And uh, Pee Wee Reese went up, put his arm around him, you know, and as, as uh, the team captain, you know, at that time, that was a huge deal. Um, so anyway, just a uh, legendary figure in the game. And honestly, not just this card, but a lot of Pee Wee Reese cards from back then are just gorgeous. Um, but anyway, this is my 1953 Pee Wee Reese. And I'm going to set that right there. And I'm just going to show a couple other... Little things real quick. Um, so while buying supplies to get free shipping, I, I've stumbled across a couple of these uh, black border one touches. Now they're out of the regular one touches. They're black border, but what they do have that's so cool is these dual 
this is a you know basically a two card display one touch with a black border so here's just done some cubs autos here so the hawk auto a rhino auto and then here we have a couple of the young guys autos there's nico horner autograph there and an ian hap autograph there so i just wanted to show those two they're really cool things to add if nothing else to save on shipping but again Congrats, John Mangini, 900 subs. Uh, congrats to myself. I hate to say that, sound like a jackass, but seriously, I, I could not be happier with this card. Um, I want to sleep with this under my pillow, I won't. But man, I just, I, I love just looking at this thing every day. So with that, I wish everyone a pleasant, safe evening and take care.